speaking to us and texting us and asking, if you feel so strongly about Brian Khan's inadequacy, uh, why don't you resign? How can you serve on to him as teacher? I would, I would consider resignation, but as you know, Bart O'Keefe, my senior minister, has now left the department and there's a very heavy schedule or workload in that department. So now, the country needs you, No, no, I would like to finish it out, but the country obviously, needs you, huh? obviously if the Taoiseach requested or require, requested my resignation, I would consider that and he is you fully, consider it, he is fully open to also for him to dismiss me and I would not take umbrage at that fact. In fact, you know, the bottom line here is, I'm telling it as it is, I am expressing an opinion here that is very much widely shared within the party and it is time for him to resign. It is time for him to move on. Anna, it is time for us to have real leadership in the context of okay. the country and also the election. If you don't country. think the Taoiseach is giving real leadership... I didn't wait. I, 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 when, when the issue was put to me by way of a direct vote of confidence, I voted no confidence in Brian Khan and I publicly indicated beforehand my reservations and I made that particularly clear to him in my conversations with him. So there's no question here of me equivocating in any respect in this regard. The reason I have redoubled and called on to resign today is because the last 24 hours are utterly catastrophic what to the country the interest and to the party what interest about, as it happens what as about well. The, what about when the bank guarantee was implemented? What about the first listen, bailout or the second listen, bailout listen, or the third bailout my, or the fourth bailout? I actually bailout. believe and I said earlier Brian Cowan and his Minister of Finance and, and his uh, governmental team have made very courageous decisions with regard to the economy where we had systemic crisis with regard to the banking the sector and I fully support uh, government policy and the difficult measures taken by Brian Khan. It is entirely a political matter that I'm discussing here tonight and an issue around confidence and the authority of the position Connor. of Taoiseach in our system. Connor. And I, you know, Connor. Okay. I have Connor, not equivocated. I want, you know, other people have been <coughs> accused. Connor, of, no, no, I do, I do object quite strenuously Con, to the idea Connor, don't that I've equivocated in some fashion. <coughs> I have not been equivocal <coughs> in any regard Con, on Connor, this matter. Connor, if you have no confidence in the leadership capacities of the Taoiseach whom you serve in government, why don't you resign? If, if a request is made of no, no, you to resign, I would consider it. Mind your request. I have of your own accord, I have, I have, why I, don't you resign? If, I would, if, you I no, if you have no confidence in the leadership of the Taoiseach, why don't you resign? The, I, and I the will, government that I you will, serve, why don't you resign? I've had a very busy day, Vincent, and I will consider that matter in the morning. You mean you and didn't I will consider come back it to you before you opened your mouth uh, outside the door today? Sorry? You didn't consider it before you opened your mouth outside the door today? Yes, I did consider And what conclusion did you come to? I came to the conclusion that I would be better serving out my period as Minister the in the running election to make sure the busy workload of a ministry, by the way, that is charged with leading economic recovery okay, happy and encouraging growth between your and jobs in the, the national economy. interest. Sorry? A happy coincidence between your self-interest no, and the national no, interest. No, there's no self-interest here. And again, I resent, I very much resent the fact that you're saying that here tonight. But is it true? I have not put my own personal interest in this matter But there's a happy all. coincidence. I am perfectly prepared to resign if requested to do so. And if the Taoiseach wishes, and it is and perfectly entitled to do so. He can sack me if he wants. I have no regard to my own personal... Can I just ask you one other no, no, question? No, no, I really do resent this. But I have no happy... personal axe to grind. I simply <laughs> want good leadership for this country, good leadership for our economy, yeah. stability and jobs yeah. for our people. And you know, this is not... And it's easy for you. It's easy for you to be cynical and sceptical about the motivation of people who go into public life. I have never ever tried to advance my own self-interest in my public life today, and never will. And I really do resent the okay. kind of sneering insinuation that you're trying to put to me here tonight. That is not true, okay. and people who know me know that's not true. Okay. My point was this, that there is a happy coincidence with what seems to be your self-interest. There is no happy just, coincidence just, whatsoever. Just, and just, please, just, please, just do not, just please do not try to insinuate just, just in any fashion that I advance my self-interest above and beyond okay. the public interest, which is my duty as a minister and a representative not, of the people yeah. of Tala and the Dublin South West and this country. I deeply resent what you're now saying. And if you embark on this line of questioning, I will meet you full on in this matter. This is totally and utterly wrong of you to suggest that. It is wrong and inappropriate of you to suggest that as me to do the same thing to you in this studio, that you are somehow were putting questions across here for some other impure motives. I've never done that to you. I've never suggested all that you advance your own self-interest when interviewing guests in this programme. So please, please show some respect here. I've right. served right. 14 okay, years Connor, in the you've had your They you have, have not say. been pleasant years. Yeah, yeah. Connor, you've had your say. Told. You've had your say, Connor. They have not been renewers of ones for me either, personally. Yeah, so look, I really do resent yeah. this. I really Connor, do. No, but it's this you're approach. Not, you're not going to shout me down. 
and you can take me full on all you bloody like. Yes, I'm, I will. I'm, I'm I going, will. I will I'm, on this I'm, issue. Okay, I'm I won't you. have my personal I'm integrity thank you. There's impugned a happy, in the fashion that you're seeking to do here. Here. No, I, I'm, not, I'm not entertaining. And, and I'm, what you yeah, I'm not entertaining you impugning my character on this program. I'm not impugning It serves your nothing not of my personal interest I am not to take the line that I'm currently taking. I am taking. not impugning your, your character. I'm simply pointing out an obvious reality. That people in office, in ministerial office, however junior, People in ministerial office have a self-interest in remaining in, in a ministerial office. I have no self-interest. In fact, actually, today in the Dáil, a lot of people would argue, because of what's happened in the last 24 hours, that I'd actually be much better off out of government, to be quite honest with you, and it would be much more electorally profitable for me too. Okay. Uh, I, uh, since you're not going to ask that question... Uh, no, I'm answer, not, because it, it, it carries with it a very malign insinuation it about my character. It does not. The character it, it does, it which I've not. conducted myself in public life and in the offices that I've been entrusted with by several Taoiseach. Okay. So I don't really... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to be beaten around, beaten around about my said, integrity. Said, and nor would I seek to beat you up on your integrity either. Yeah. So I just not, back off, I am not Back off, Vincent. Uh, I am not questioning your integrity at all. I'm uh, you are in the office. I am referring to an office. To do. Anyway, I just want to go on and ask you another question. Were you one of the backbenchers that were consulted by your brother Brian Lenhan about the desirability of uh, changing the leadership of Fianna Fáil uh, in the months, uh, in the latter part of last year? I, I, would have, I would reckon that he consulted with a great many people on that matter. I'm not uh, my brother's keeper, nor will I ever appoint myself to be his spokesman in any fashion. Uh, I know that discussions about the leadership have been ongoing for the best part of a year and a half within Fianna Fáil at every level of the organisation, whether it be the leadership level, the ministerial level, the TD level, or indeed the grassroots level, which is the most important level as far as I'm concerned. Because it's out of, by the way, sympathy and concern and anxiety on the part of activists in my own constituency in the length of the country that I am expressing this issue and vocalising this issue on their behalf, by the way, in relation to the leadership of this party. And that, those are the people who are the backbone of our organisation, unpaid volunteers uh, uh, to canvass. When you're finished, I'll ask you the question again, and maybe you'd answer it. And I, my I question have, was, I, were, you, I've answered why, question. were you one of the people that was consulted by your brother, Brian Lennon, uh, you're in using the word consulted. with a change in the leadership of Fianna Fáil in the la latter no, months of last year? I, wasn't, I was not consulted. You were never consulted by him. The issue was discussed between us. As, and again, we're back to an issue that you had What's with the Dan. What's the difference between discussed and consulted? A, there is a very serious issue. You know, y you had a row earlier on here with Dan about what he said or didn't say in a meeting. You know, political discussions by their nature range over a wide range of subject matter. And often, yes, were leadership, you surprised that leadership he denied, is discussed. Did, were you surprised that he denied making any attempt to undermine Brian Khan's position in, in the interview he gave on RT Radio last Tuesday? Were you surprised by what he said? I was somewhat surprised, yes. For, uh, in what way were you well, surprised? Well, I was surprised, uh, first of all, at the fact that he, he, he was, uh, if you like, uh, underpinning confidence in the Taoiseach, but uh, that was the main political surprise and personal surprise to me. The other thing that surprised me, I suppose, was the reaction for, of other TDs. I was genuinely, you know, those TDs that spoke to him would have different conversations with him than I would have. And by, why were you by surprised? definition, being a, a, a relation of his and a brother. Why were you surprised by his expression of support for the Taoiseach? Well, I was, I, was, I was greatly surprised with it because I believed uh, and was forming the view at that stage uh, that maybe a leadership change was a preferable thing. And, and, and was, by the way... Was it your, was it your understanding that uh, uh, Brian shared that belief? Well, I would say that I would have felt that he would have been in sympathy with it, but you must understand in politics, the situation changes, and we've seen in the last 24 hours how things can change very radically in a very short space of time. So, you know, I would, I would form the view... Uh, that I would have hoped, and I have to say, I would hope that senior figures in the party are people who saw themselves as potential leaders of the party, and that includes Brian Lennon, Michael Martin, and of course Mary Hannafin, that they, would take in, that they would have taken charge of the situation in relation to confidence issues. And I still expect, by the way, uh, senior members of the party to take charge of the situation that we now find ourselves in. Are you disappointed in, in your brother? Well, I don't know if disappointment is the word, but I'm disappointed generally in the senior figures in the party not taking responsibility for the uh, situation that's now unfolded. And I expect, I expect senior figures in the party to show their strength in the next few hours and the next few days to make sure that the leadership and the, the lack of confidence in our leadership is restored.